Hi guys, how are you? Oh, good. How are you? Hello, Rachel. Hi. Uh, to start, uh, Sebastian and Adam, when you guys are playing characters that are so tied together, what kind of like acting techniques helped you guys really understand both where you were with the characters and what you guys kind of needed to do to make sure that we, the audience, really understood the journey they were going on? Oh, crikey, technique. I don't, <laughs> I don't think I have any technique. I just think I uh, turn up, say words that someone else wrote in the right order, and I can <laughs> get out of there. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, I, I think I think in this particular case, that's pretty much what the right thing to do was because that, you know, Aaron wrote a really great script, and 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 I think we just uh, if, as long as we just followed what was going in, you know, what the, the journey of it, then then everything was sort of falling into place. Um, you know, you spend so much time, sometime kind of like sometimes like kind of like preparing and trying to get everything and, and you spend all this time and then you get there and there's a director and another person that you're working with and it, then it becomes a whole new thing you didn't think about and that's uh, when it's great because you're not really alone and you shouldn't be when you're doing that. Yeah and Aaron when you are making a movie that does you know it by its nature is very kind of twisty and you have to kind of fall like you're you're always on the edge of your seat trying to figure out what's going to happen next when you're both writing that and then turning around and like directing this and making this story come to life what for you was the biggest challenge between the two i don't know that's a good question i you know i i thing is i don't think about it when i'm writing it i'm not thinking about twists you know i i never was thinking I'm making a twisty film here. I just kept thinking, what, what's happening next? What's, hap mm -hmm. what, what's happening to Edward next? I knew that, that uh, you know, from the initial conception that Adam playing Oswald would show up at some point and that that would, that would you know, sort of throw uh, Edward into this downward spiral. But, um, but I was just constant, constantly thinking about moving forward. It would just, keep moving this the, the plot forward not necessarily about left turns and so I, I was not even really aware until I, I watched the you know our, our cut of the film how how surprising it was you know I, I think that I was just trying to you know fill 120 pages or whatever <laughs> when I was writing well yeah and Adam when you are you know you're I've been seeing your social media posts and how excited you are about the movie. And it has made me in also very excited just because I see you on Twitter or whatever it is talking about it. Now that it is coming out, how has it been for you knowing that you're like, oh, all that time I've been hyping up the movie that I'm really excited about. Now people are going to get to see it. I, yeah, I, I feel like a dog who's just seen a magic trick. I'm like, wow, I'm just happening. <laughs> Because I've been like putting it off for so long, I'm like, ah, it's a month away, I'll think about it later. Ah, it's two weeks away, I'll think about it later. And then I got on the plane on Sunday and was like, oh no, oh no, you've not thought about this at all. You had months to prepare and no nothing. <laughs> and so, no, now I'm just sort of like enjoying it, sort of like while, while it's happening. Yesterday I was like out and about in, in New York with people going, oh, I'm looking forward to the the film while well, people who'd like seen it already been like great great film my, my dude and and yeah i'm just gonna in enjoy it while it's happening because i don't know when the next gig's or if the next gig's coming or, or what's gonna happen so yeah I'm, I'm gonna gonna have fun with this one and and just try try and enjoy it yeah and uh, especially i have to ask i love your non-franchise uh stuff that you've been doing because like i like that you got to be a you went from playing wacky barnes then just being a serial killer who eats people and now you're playing this guy and it's just fun to kind of see all the things you do outside of what a lot of people are looking for you or looking to you for uh for you what about this project in particular made you so excited that you were like yeah this is what i want to do on that off time that i have i just thought it's really very hard to 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 find um, unique, completely original films that 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 you're reading, and they just they have they don't really get made anymore. Um, 
And um, I do want to take this second to, to go. I, 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 you know, we were talking before about the need for executives, right, on a producerial level, on a studio level, to be able to hire more um, writers or directors that are disabled or that can speak to this topic. And it really has to start on that level. And you know, we really are here because of A24 and, and mm. that they took this on, you know, they didn't, they didn't have to do that. There was a million things that everybody wants to work with them. And, and, but they, they took this on, you know, they had one meeting with us. They really uh, loved his last film and they gave this a shot, you know, and, and, um, so I think that was important. And, 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 just for me, it was it was uh, yeah. It's a very unique movie in a sense. It's and but it but it but it's much more relatable, uh, I think, for for all of us than than just what it speaks to towards in terms of disability and disfigurement, and and that conversation that we have to keep having. But but really, it's it's about abandoning the self, and mm -hmm. and I think if people have the courage to kind of go into this film and not just you know, throw throw their own projections and 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 judge the film from because they're just analyzing some whatever online that they've read beforehand, but actually trying to experience the movie as the loss of self that that happens for this character, then then they might be able to take something personally from it, and and I think that's what's important. Yeah, I hundred percent agree. Can't wait for everyone to get to see it. I mean, I get to go to the premiere in Austin, and I can't wait for to hear, see what that audience says. So thank you guys for talking with me and I really appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.